This is kind of cool. I finally hit 10,000 streams, so I thought I'd do a vlog type thing for once, because usually I just do music, but I thought to reward the fans and myself, I'm going to do what they used to say, a 10,000k or a 10k deddy. And uh, I thought I'd go through all my guitars, one by one. So let's start it off. Oh, wait, what are they saying? Let's jump right into it. All right, um, this is my, f my first guitar that my mom got me. I was 12 years old. And yep, I was that kid, I'm like, gotta put some stickers on it. And I think the first two were uh, Super Mario. He's really buried by now. And Captain Planet. Kind of dating myself. There's lots of good stuff here. Got got so many good bands, good effect pedals, and it's a Washburn. So my first guitar I ever played and owned was a Washburn. Washburn's notable for being in like the '90s, on uh, the MTV Unplugged era. They had really good electric acoustic pickups and acoustic guitars, and this is one of them. I keep it by my bed, I don't really play it all that much, but I love it, it's, I've had it for so long, it's in some random open major 7 tuning. Washburns, I like them, I've come to like them, I, I'd say my one uh, criticism for Washburn is the sounds, the elements are not all balanced, the highs ring out a bit too much, the mids are a bit too muted, the bass is not really as thick. It's not so bad, but if we're splitting hairs, the uh, the different elements are a bit unbalanced. But I love this guitar. Yeah, I'll never get rid of it. Actually, it was stolen from me once, and I got it back as well, which is really crazy. That's why there's some uh, random graffiti, because they tried to resell it so they drew on their own little graffiti and I got it back too. I was at a house party and I seen the guitar just sitting there, it looked like this guitar. And my friends were there and they're like, isn't that your guitar? And I'm just like, yep. And I just picked it up and I walked out of the party. And uh, yeah, that's my very first guitar. Let's move on. This is the second guitar I ever owned. Washburn again. And it's the, uh, what is it? WI64DL. And it's, I modded it too. It's the first guitar I modded, just put shit on. Um, <laughs> we took the, <laughs> Jordan Fritz, my first guitar tech, took the input jack out and put it in this uh, volume knob slot because we had this other slot, but it broke. Just one volume, because at the time, I'm like loving Hella. Hella is my favorite band at the time, and to this day. They're just like always full volume, so one volume. And I went to the store, I'm like, yo, I need a single coil, maybe a P90. They were saying P94 is even higher treble response. So yeah, let's plug, uh, let's plug this in. I think it's, it's all over the first album, the, the blue vinyl. A bit on the second album, not quite as much. I like it. Again, it has that Washburn sound. I think this chord sounds really good on it. Yeah, it has some battle scars, like my friends dropped it. Or even it shows I would just go crazy and rock out and like smash it on stuff. But it held up, it's really durable. Neck through. This one I'll keep around for a while. I love this one. Damn. Let's move on. Alright, um, this guitar, 
At one point in the history of If I Look Strong, You Look Strong, we got robbed. Our tour van got broken into in Edmonton, Alberta, and my Hagstrom got stolen, which we'll get into later, Hagstroms. But it got stolen, and this was a one of the first replacements I used. It's very unusual. It's like Gibson body, Strat pickups, weird headstock from an acoustic guitar brand. It's always the, the guest guitar. It's kind of cool though. I think it's got a metal neck. It's obviously not in tune at all. Um, and then, you know, tone, it's really hot. It's a really loud guitar as you can tell. This pickup, it's pretty bright. I would, it's one of the brightest back pickups I ever heard. This one's on the chopping block. I keep it around, but it's the first that I'd probably sell out of any of them. <clears throat> Alright, this one is hollow body. This is the uh again when I got robbed. On tour, when my band got robbed on tour, um, this is one of the guitars that my friend Jordan Fritz gave to me that he built to replace what I got stolen, the Hagstrom. And yeah, it's two P94s. Again, I'm super into P94s. But listen to that buzz. But it's not so bad. And a funny thing, the... Uh, the tuners are backwards, so you have to turn them backwards. Pretty, I find that hilarious, but it's it almost works better. And this one's really good for uh, for synth sounds. It leaves almost nothing of the original guitar tone. Just all the all the synth tone. I've used it on a few YouTube covers. It smells really nice. Um, yeah, I'd always like to use it more, but I'm not really into P94s as much anymore, and I don't really use hollow body sounds, or I don't, hollow body never comes to my mind, but if I ever had a classy jazz gig, this would be the, the guitar to use. <coughs> oh, and thanks to uh, Kevin Zentner for fixing it up. Fix this up. Fix this up. Thanks, bud. So right, yeah, right after I got robbed, like I said, sorry, I should rephrase that, right after the band got robbed, because Dylan and Skyler, they got some, uh, they stole Dylan's asthma inhaler. They stole Skyler's bass he bought for that tour. I'm not gonna tune this super perfect, but I just tune up a bit. Yeah. Anyways, I was like, right after tour, after we got Jack, I had those other two guitars I showed you, the weird black one and the um, the hollow body and natural. But this was the first one I thought that really like jived with me. And it was only $80. I was quite broke at the time, but I woke up on Facebook. I saw on Facebook Marketplace, custom guitar, $80. And this back pickup is something, something special. It's just bright. position ain't so bad on this one either. The pickups aren't the right height, so I might have to fix that. But custom wood pickguard, and you know, the last concert I played before COVID was uh, with this guitar. So that's pretty cool. With If I Look Strong, You Look Strong with Scott and Kate. There's a photo on our, on our Instagram of this just laying on the ground after the concert. So yeah, I love this guitar. I don't think I'll ever sell this one. I don't use it a lot, but again, this back pickup, especially some distortion. That's, that's pretty good, eh? So let's move on. I think those are all the guitars that kind of 
related to recovering after our van got stolen. Here's a few others I've picked up over the over the years. This guitar is beautiful right here. We've got the Art and Luthier. A and L A M I. And my friend Chris and roommate Chris Tate gave this to me. So if you're watching, hey Chris, thank you so much. Congratulations on your family, wife, kids. So awesome. Looks so happy on Facebook. Oh. Give it a bit of a tune. It's got that beautiful classical. I almost never play this. I used it on Entropy, double tracked against my my first guitar that I showed you, the Washburn. Those were the two sides on Entropy. But if I ever play, when I want to play classical, this is the one. two really wacky guitars. One time we were on tour, If I Look Strong, You Look Strong in Vancouver. We had two shows booked. One was a house party. One was a like venue show, 333 Club. Everything was going good. The house party suddenly got canceled. One of the band members pulled out of the touring band. The other band suddenly like got, had to cancel. And then it turned out there was another event at the house party that night or something. Just like Worst of the worst. But to make it up, they gave us this guitar that was just kicking around the house. It's Elliot. Thanks, Elliot, from uh, Thor's Palace and Kevin and Joe. Everyone. All the buds. I don't even know who was living there at the time. Come on, let's be honest. But uh, it's meant to mimic the, the sitar. And if you watch Last Train Home by Pat Metheny, that this is the one he's playing. I practice a little ragadash. Here's ragadash. different ones too like different brands this is rogue but so like more companies than not made this at some point and we got this part of course i think it's supposed to be an octatonic scale you can use it if you want Sweet, kind of one trick pony too, anyways, but keep going. So, as you see, it's the Casio DG20. They made DG10, 20, and 30. So, it's really weird. It's, it's uh, six nylon B strings, but it's digitally like processing what's happening. One cover on on this channel we do an am overcast cover so that was pretty fun and uh, the sounds are pretty cool oh what
of Snowy from Undertale. Because I found this tone. I'm like, well, that's the tone. practicing and there's some drums Which is Hagstrom. Now, I'm a Hagstrom type of guy. I'm a Hagstrom type of girl. I'm a Hagstrom type of non binary individual. And what I'm saying is, uh, and the first to call me that was Mike Ryan. So shout out Mike Ryan. He's been living the Hagstrom life. This was the first mm. one I saw the F20T. I mean, in my opinion, it might be the best guitar ever made. It's perfectly balanced. <laughs> like, come on. What more is there to say? So let's just go into Hagstrom in general. They all have this specific type of tuner, which was made by, um, is his name Jimmy D'Aquisto or Johnny D'Aquisto? Either way, Dak was still guitars and Diarmid guitars. It's connected to Hagstrom. He gave him the, the headstock, those special tuners, which increase the tuning stability. And just like listen to this pickup. People often ask me, Noah, how do you get your tone? Here's exactly how you get my tone. I don't want to keep it a secret. I want to give it away to you, the fans, the friends. You take a Hagstrom, specifically the F20T or any of them really, you plug it into a one of two fuzz pedals, These, uh, the Electro Harmonics Bigma, or the Copy, the clone which I'm using now, the uh, Way Huge Swollen Pickle, which I kind of like more, it's a bit more sculptable. So you turn that on. <laughs> Then you have the insane fuzz, but still the note definition. Yeah, it's beautiful. And also, the final secret, you have to use a phaser or flanger before or after the fuzz pedal. So. I use a boss flanger, the purple one, after, it sounds like this. You want to keep the speed pretty low and the depth pretty high. Or, lately, I've been using uh, an MXR Phase 95 in red mode before the Swollen Pickle. Shout out Scott for telling that. before. Who thought of that phase before the, the fuzz? Can I only throw some delay on there? That's it, that's my tone. started happening on this one the tremolo is messing up so it when I bend in the string it
pulls the other out of pitch. That's kind of funny. Also, the uh, this is my MIDI setup for websites, my other band. So, you know, shout out for Scott for the the, uh, the phaser tip. Shout out for Mike for calling me the Hagstrom guy. And yeah, websites, we've got a third album coming soon, so stay tuned for that. This was my number one guitar of all time until the last guitar in the video, which I'll show you later. But let's move on to some more Hags drums. And here we got the Hagstrom Swede, or the Ultra Swede, I mean. And this one's the Nitro. It's kind of cool. There's a pro um, snowboarder. His last name was Hagstrom. He's Swedish. And he's also a musician, so he's like, I gotta get the double, like, the double? So he's sponsored by this snowboard company and Hagstrom, and it's the same graphic on his snowboard as on this guitar. For some reason, people hate this graphic. People hate it. I saw this online, there's like 800, then a 7, then 5, then 4, with the case, with the perfect Hagstrom case. And uh, on our new album, the new If I Look Strong full length, this is the second guitar track against the F20T. So they're, they're neck and neck. It has a very gritty sound, honestly. Ooh, I just love it. A little bit of overdrive. Yeah, and it's got the coil split. Single coil style. Country stuff, it, I think this might be my go-to. But you know, it's got the thick lead too. Thick and fat lead. That's just a great guitar. I just love this one. And weirdly enough, it sounds amazing on solid state amps. I've noticed it hasn't. So we used the Garnet Solid State Amp as the second guitar amp on the new If I Look Strong, You Look Strong album, which is forthcoming by the time you'll see this video. And yeah, binding on the neck, <clears throat> neck through construction, tuners and binding on the headstock. Let's move on. Here we go. This one is the Hagstrom Swede, and rather obviously, it's their Les Paul copy, or take, or whatever you want to call it. But I really love it, because I used to have a Les Paul. I had this um, uh, this amazing 80s Gibson Les Paul, but it was like, too annoying. Never stay in tune, pickups are always finicky. So I got the Hagstrom one. Let's tune this one up a bit. Let's give this one a bit of a tune. This one was in a really poor condition in a pawn shop. I think my friend, my friend Kirk helped me grab this one. And, and Kale. Kirk and Kale. Thanks, guys. Honestly, I have so many good friends in Alberta just helping me grab a Hagstrom. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate it so much. I'm the Hagstrom guy. <laughs> so Mike told me. Look at that. It's already in tune. One tune. It's ready to go. Oh. So as you hear, it's like... I'll turn off the phaser. I usually always leave it on. But... That's pretty much the Gibson sound. Sustain, which is funny, like it's more like why would you and then why would you use the Gibson when you got more sustain here? This is cool, it's called the tone circuit. So this is almost like a more jazzy. Oh no wait, is this the one? It changes it quite a bit. Yeah, this is more like honky. So if you want that Les Paul scoop tone, there you go. Egg 
gangster on Les Paul, baby. Might be my least used Les uh, Hagstrom. I don't always go for the Les Paul sound, but when I need that sound, this is the one. I think this is the final part, hopefully. I just talk all day about Hagstroms. Come on. All right, well, they got the F300. It's, as you see, their Stratocaster copy by Fender. Same headstock, but I kind of like that the back isn't painted. Just the top, same as the Strat. Like, it's kind of cool. They're even that authentic. Cool pick guard. This one, uh, uh, someone in Edmonton had two Hagstroms. This one and then the acoustic I'll show you in a second. But I, you know, it's the Strat. <laughs> Right, is that weird uh, black guitar I showed you with the, the strap pickups, but way more usable, way more pleasing. Pretty good uh, rolled off solo thing if you want. Or maybe, you know, a little bit of a Gilmore if you wanted to. Also, I don't know if it's coming through on the cam if it's coming through on the camera, but it's a metallic sparkle blue. My first guitar in metallic sparkle blue, so I mean, of course, had to have it. Hags drawn in metallic sparkle blue. Let's check out that acoustic. The guy in Edmonton who had the uh, the F three hundred, the Strat copy, he also had this. The they're uh, one of their nicest acoustics, I would say. He gave me a deal two f not two for one, but you know. Bonus deal, two at once. Come on. Come on, baby. That's a great, uh, that's a great tune. I just use this on one of my Buddy Holly covers. I don't know what else to say. It's got, um, actually, uh, was it Fish? Uh, Fishman? I forget what it's called. T35, I think it's Fishman, uh, or Fisher, I forget what they're called, but the, I think they're one of the nicer pickups, uh, like acoustic pickups. And, uh, I mean, binding on the neck, which goes to the headstock, like, double inlay art. I don't think, actually, sorry, not inlay art, that's what it's called. And it's, you'll notice, kind of cool, it's actually the same neck as the Hagstrom Nitro. Same inlays. Hagstrom is just so smart with how they go about everything. All right, let's move on to uh, the last two. This is uh, the second newest one. Let's turn off all the craziness. I've been my like my main player not like beater per se but I take it to lessons throw it in the car then I immediately go to band practice right after it's in all these different tunings I use capo on it it's got the super slinkies so really good for bands or good just to play a lot you don't have to push that hard part of it due to the amazing setup from uh, Travis thank you so much might have to come back for some more. <laughs> I'd say this one, it's like their SG copy, of course, if you couldn't tell. And uh, there's no pick guard, which is kind of cool. And uh, it's definitely pretty bright. It can go, what, it might be my brightest. <laughs> to say it's my main yeah player take it around a lot all right let's move on to my my greatest unveiling greatest i'll show you guys well folks you know what no let me let me get plugged in let me get let me ladies and gentlemen 
my newest acquisition, maybe, no, definitely the best and nicest by far guitar I've owned. The Hegstrom Ultramax Special in Mystique Purple Burst. It looks pretty good on the camera from what I can tell, but like I wish you guys could see this in real life. And look at the knobs, they're like fancy H knobs with the logo, and they cut the pickups foil just like a uh, Harmony from back in the day. And you got the two Lundgren Custom <laughs> pickups in the neck and bridge, and the Hagstrom Custom Mini Bucker. Come on! All right. guitarist described tone and like Spinal Tap, the movie, if you've seen that, of course, as well. But honestly, it's so clean and pure. Back pickup just like bites like a mother spoiler. Of course, we feel awesome distortion. Crimson Book of Saturday, and this that's the pickup, that's the tone. It's coming. I've been trying to play that song for so long since I was a teenager, and I got it, so that one's definitely coming. And this is cool when you go to this setting, position four and two, it's a coil split between these two. So I think this this setting four on the strat's my favorite. You don't want to be caught not playing four. Corey Wong shout out, obviously, and everyone else. But four on this one, it's almost uh, subtle or like background. I think if there was a full band and then they were like guitar, just be really like subtle. This one I really like. This is pretty much a Strat sound. Ready to go on the guitar. And now here, like, okay, come on. Here's the best part. You guys ready for this? They fixed the tone knob. Instead of rolling off the highs, it rolls off the lows now. Check this out. two guitars in every band, even three, it made sense. You turn the tone knob down in the other guy's solo. Nowadays you got synths, uh, saxophones and trumpets are coming back, violin, uh, like three-part singers, some guy the modular. So this, they realized you want to cut out the low end when you're on stage. And especially with distortion. Here we go. Loud and resonant, that is. Also, they, uh, I, I saw this online, they use some fancy, <laughs> some fancy nut lubrication to make sure that it's permanently in tune. They said, like, it's permanently in tune from here. And there's more resonance and harmonic overtones, they said. Also, I mean, come on, quintuple binding or triple, depending on how you look at it. But either way, and then perloid binding on the edges. This costs more than my car. On the, on the neck, double binding, thick inlays. And yeah, even on the headstock, double binding. 
All right, let me put this away, and then I'll do a quick, uh, quick shout out. Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks for watching my 10K Daddy. Um, it's it's good. It, what I want to have happened has happened. I played guitar. I showed you all my guitars, and uh, I'm gonna say it. I haven't said it. I've had this YouTube channel for three or four years. We finally hit 10,000 views. Finally gonna say it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Oh, felt good. Um, this is the first vlog. I guess let me know if you like it. We're gonna do lots more covers. If I look strong, you look strong. My band is practicing tomorrow. Scott and Kate are coming over. So thanks everyone for checking it out. Thank you to all the friends who helped me or hooked me up when we got robbed, like we were saying, or just gave me the instruments out of the kindness of their heart. And we'll see you. In